So it's been an interesting few months for the 3D printing industry with Stratasys and 3D Systems presenting pretty much catastrophic losses. And then a new company coming completely out of the blue promising 25 to 100 times faster 3D prints. Now that's big news. How's it going guys, Angus here from Makers Muse. So Carbon 3D came out of stealth mode a couple of days ago with a new technology they call CLIP, or Continuous Liquid Interface Production. This technology is set to completely shake up the industry's view of 3D printing as being painfully slow. This technology promises to print 25 to 100 times faster than current 3D printing technologies. In their TEDx video, which I highly recommend you watch, they print a palm sized object within the talk duration. I'm talking less than 10 minutes which is completely insane compared to other 3D printing technologies, which would normally take hours. So what have they done to make it so fast? The talk of, uh, sort of oxygen permeable membranes is a little bit beyond me, I must admit, but let me explain what I do know about uh, DLP and SLA printers. So these printing technologies use a laser or a projector to harden a layer of uh, UV curable resin and then what will happen is you need to remove that layer from the print membrane, but the forces generated when this layer cures onto that membrane is immense. So uh, basically this is most of the time used in this printing process is breaking that layer free and preparing it for the next layer to be cured. And it takes a lot of time to do that. It also wears out the print beds. So these uh, printing trays are actually a really expensive consumable item for DLP and SLA printers because they wear out so fast from this contact. So what Clip is doing that's different is this polymerization isn't happening on the print bed surface. It's actually happening about 10 microns above it, which is revolutionary in the fact that you don't need to have this removal process. In fact, you can just slowly pull that bed up and have the print follow. So there's none of this sort of layer anymore. You just have the, the um, slices from underneath be projected onto that resin and then the print will be pulled out. So it's going to change things immensely compared to previous DLP and SLA technologies. So should you rush out to get one? Well, there isn't even a hint of how much these machines will end up costing, nor like any ETA and when the technology will reach the general public. But despite being an order of magnitude faster than traditional UV cured liquid polymer systems, I can't see it overcoming the key disadvantages of the technology. Namely, UV cured polymers are fairly nasty when they're in their liquid state. The cleanup process of the prints involves multiple stages of alcohol baths to remove the resin that you don't get uh, cured. UV post curing to harden up the print takes a lot of time and is quite finicky and needs a special post curing oven. And support structures will be still remain quite an issue because these systems are a single material system. So the support structures are same material support which need to be broken away afterwards. And it's difficult to do this without damaging your print. So they were very careful in their TEDx talk to do a print that didn't need support structures to avoid that whole issue altogether. But needless to say, I'm pretty damn excited. In my opinion, this is one of the biggest breakthroughs in the technology since the uh, patents for FDM ran out. So well, I would like to get one, one day, but maybe not for a while. <laughs> so yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the new uh, Carbon 3D's clip technology. Do you think it's gonna really change things? Is it worth all the hype? Or is it another, just sort of another fad process that's just gonna fade away into obscurity? Let me know in, in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But that's it, your weekly slice of 3D printing news. Uh, from myself on Makers Views. Thanks for watching guys, see you around. Bye.